Mike, thanks. Well, happening now, residents are recovering from the devastation of Hurricane Michael. Mexico Beach was one of the hardest hit areas by that massive storm. And for those residents whose homes are still standing, they're clearing out their homes to eventually rebuild. Kim Shine talked to one family with Indiana Ties who just moved into their house 11 months ago. And she joins us now live from Mexico Beach tonight. Kim? Hey Terry, yeah, the Joseph family house is actually right behind me and you can see there is a lot of damage to this home. They tell me that they probably won't be able to come back to this house and actually live here for at least a year. And today they were out here trying to salvage whatever they could and then throwing out everything else. Brian Joseph throws pieces of his six-year-old son's bed over the balcony. It's moldy and like many things here, it can't be saved. The house was holding up pretty well, but this whole thing came in and crashed into the wall there. And then we started losing more windows. The Josephs are a retired military family and moved here only 11 months ago. They left before the storm and came back to parts of their roof, their walls, and their floor missing. Outside, their view has also changed to a clear, bittersweet sight of the beach. Hopefully it'll be come back just newer and nicer, but still be Mexico Beach. What you'll also see passing by are these signs. Brian wrote them to inspire his neighbors and encourage federal support. Okay. Go that way. Brian and Kristen's sons, 10 year old Bryce and six year old Brennan can't go to school right now, so they're helping out too. It's just different when you come back home. But Bryce already knows that this has left an indelible mark on their childhoods. Because when we left, we filled sandbags and bagged up the doors and then we came back all our sandbags were gone and our house was destroyed. Mom Kristen, who's originally from Evansville, says the family was just starting to build a nice routine. Everyone's working really hard and we're thankful and grateful for that, but it's, it's going to be a long time coming before all that's up and running again. And again, it'll be at least a year, they tell me, before they can move back into this home. And Brian says that it's the unknown that is the most unnerving here. What will happen to this house, happen to the, their jobs, and how they will provide some type of normalcy for their two sons. Live here in Mexico Beach, Kim Shine, News Center 16. All right, Kim, thank you very much.